Christmas service to bring light to our hearts, our lives. This service was written by Reverend Dr. Nancy Cox, a minister of the Presbyterian Church in Canada. She has given the church a gift through her creativity and offered it for the use of others. We give thanks for her generosity and kindness. As we join together in worship, may you experience the hope, peace, joy, and love that is the message of this season. Let us worship and praise God for the saving grace offered in the Christ child. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Then the Word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen God's glory full of grace and truth. What has come into being in Christ was life, and the life was the light of all people. This light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. I invite you who are worshiping with us at home to light the Christ candle if you have, so have a wreath. shines in the darkness, and the darkness will not overcome it. A lamp shines into the darkness, a pinpoint of light in a dark night. We know how our eyes will find even the tiniest spark of light when everything else around us is dark. For light is stronger than the darkness. At night, when a lamp is burning, open the door on the darkness and see what happens. The lamp shine, light shines out and takes over a bit of the darkness. Never does a piece of the darkness fall into a lighted room and take away some of the light. 
even a simple lamp enjoys the power of light. Its flame allows the light to shine where we need it, into the darkest corners of house or stable. A single lamp can show us the pathway on the darkest night, so no one stumbles while carrying a precious gift. A lamp shining in the doorway welcomes us in from our wandering. Its warmth pushes away our worries, just like its light pushes away the dark. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went to the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. What is a lamp without hands to strike the match and light the wick? What is a lamp without hands to hold it up so its light shines into those dark corners? A lamp cannot lift itself high. What is a lamp without hands to open the door and let the lamplight shine out into the darkness? A lamp cannot open the door. A lamp needs a life to look into the darkness and see who needs light to brighten their path. A lamp needs a life to light the wick and set the light shining. A lamp needs a life to open the door and hold it up high. A life that will welcome a stranger into the light, into the warmth, into the heart and hearth. Let us pray. O oh God, shine your light into our lives on this dark night. Warm our hearts so that we will open our doors to your love. May ours be the lives that shine light into the dark corners of your world. May ours be the lives that welcome you to be born again in our midst this Christmas. Amen. What is a manger? Just a few pieces of wood nailed together to serve a good purpose. That's all a manger is just a set of wooden arms strong enough to hold a new bundle of hay each day. Still, a manger protects its bed of hay, keeps it clean and dry, keeps the mice away. A manger stands guard to offer its food 
its source of life to animals who rely on its steady footing. That manger always stands ready for whoever needs its nourishing cargo. That manger will open its wooden arms to welcome the hungry lives which gather round it, lives that trust the manger holds what they need for the future. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver the, her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. become a cradle for more than a bundle of hay? Can it be a cradle without hands to prepare the bed and welcome more precious cargo? Can a manger become a cradle without hands to lay a newborn to rest, hands which settle and soothe and tend new life? Can a manger be a cradle without hands, tiny and perfect, reaching up reaching out for attention, for warmth, for love. A cradle needs a life to smooth the bed and smooth the forehead. A cradle needs a life to rock the baby and sing the soothing lullaby. A cradle needs a life to shelter, resting its tiny head, trusting itself to the manger's wooden arms and the mother's willing arms. Let us pray. O oh God, may our lives cradle your love this Christmas as we smile on the baby Jesus. May our love become a shelter for those who turn to us for protection. May our arms offer the welcome every stranger needs in the name of Jesus who reaches out to us from the manger. Amen. Not much goes into a staff. It's cut from a tree and carved to be useful out there in the wild. A staff is just a walking stick, sturdy and dependable, something to lean on if you're weary. A staff gives that extra footing when the path is slippery or your knee is stiff and sore, feeling the weather on a cold, damp night. For a shepherd, a staff offer, offers a bit of support along a rocky path. The staff gives an occasional prod to remind a stubborn sheep to move along to the next green pasture. And a staff with a bit of a curve comes in handy when a wayward lamb gets stuck in a crevice or a muddy patch in the field. 
In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those whom God favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. to grip it firmly? What is the staff without hands to place it wisely for sure support? What is the staff without hands to prod that sheep gently through the winding valley? Hands to hook the crook around the silly lamb that got stuck and pull it to safely. A staff needs a life to test its strength. A staff needs a life to lean on its dependability. A staff needs a life who knows the sheep and sees how they go astray. A staff needs a life unafraid of the danger. A staff, a life to kneel down and rescue the lamb, pulling it free, guiding it on the way. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we have come to find you this Christmas. Be our staff to lean on when we lose our footing. Be our guide when we cannot find our way. Pull us free from danger. Savior, rescue us with the light of your love. Be our strength now and in the year ahead, so that we may walk with your courage and compassion, come what may. Amen. How silently, how silently the wondrous gift is given.
Often the very best gifts are given quietly, even anonymously. And yet such gifts have the power to change lives. God's gift in the Christ child arrived in a small town, a humble stable, to a couple no one invited in. And still that gift changes lives. This Christmas, I invite you to share in the miracle of changing lives through an offering that will help St. Andrew's Thunder Bay to continue its work of ministering in God's name. The St. Andrew's website, shown at the end of this service, will provide you with more information on how to give a donation. And we give thanks for that help. Christmas is a time of gift giving. Think of all the gifts wrapped up and waiting under your tree. Each gift is a piece of love chosen for someone special. Each gift is a piece of hope waiting to change someone's life. A gift is that little piece of joy given to make someone smile. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, where's the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out. And there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. What child is this who lives? On Mary's lap, it's sleeping. The angels greet with anthems sweet, while shepherds watch our keeping. This, this is Christ, the King, whom shepherds God and a Haste, haste to bring him on the bay. a gift without hands to present it? What is a gift without hands to unwrap it? 
What is a gift without hands to hold it up in wonder, to cherish it, to play with it, to touch the love it bears and make that love your own? A gift needs a life to give it. A gift needs a life to receive it. A gift needs a life to unwrap the love inside and share the love outside with all who wonder how love can give so much. The Christ child is a life born for us, born with us, to offer us God's gift. The Christ child is a gift, with love for each one of us so wonderful that we can share that love with others and never have the love run out. Christ is the gift God gives tonight. Christ is the gift we receive tonight. Unwrap this gift for yourself and share this gift of love with everyone whose life touches yours. this Christmas Eve. Let us pray. God of the starry heavens and the good old earth, eternal God, God with us, you have come among us in the figure of a baby, a newborn reaching out to us to bring a smile to our lips and hope to our hearts. Thank you for your tenderness with which you touch our lives. This Christmas, as we remember the baby lying in a manger, we pray for peace. Peace in all the places where there's anger or war or fear. 
peace in all the hearts that know sorrow or stress. We pray for people who will not sleep safely tonight because of conflict in their lives. Cradle all these people and places in your love so the world may sleep in heavenly peace this night. This Christmas, as we remember the mother Mary rocking her baby, we pray for all children born this Christmas season, watching over mothers and fathers and grandparents, hoping for the best for their neighbors. Help us create communities where every child is valued and every family has enough. May families rejoice because Christ the Savior is born for us, for each of us and for all of us. This Christmas, as we remember the Father Joseph protecting his little one, we pray for all those watching over the helpless and the hopeless this season. Be with all those who must work this holiday to keep the world safe and to care for those in need. Be with those who are sick or sad or lonely so that each one will know your tender touch. God of the starry heavens and the good old earth, eternal God, God with us. This Christmas, as we remember the shepherds coming in haste and the wise men coming in wonder, open our hearts to reach out to the Christ child, to receive the gift you offer us in Jesus, even as we offer our love to you in his name. Bless us in the year ahead so we can share your love with all the lives that touch ours. May our hearts sing with the Christmas angels. Glory to you, O God, and on earth, peace for all who wonder at your love. Amen. who is Christ the Lord. May the love of the Christ child embrace you. 
the joy of the Christ child fill your heart. May the peace of the Christ child give you rest. And the hope of the Christ child guide you into the year ahead. Amen. Thank you.